Hey guys, how you doing? We're back for another beer review. Uh, saw this in the uh, liquor store. Actually, the uh, one of the ladies there who works there was nice enough to point this out to me. I would have seen seen it, of course, but uh, she pointed it out to me and kind of got my interest in it. Uh, this is from Tanamagoosh Brewing Company here in Nova Scotia. It's one of the newest breweries here in Nova Scotia. This is their North Shore Lagered Ale at 4.7% alcohol by volume, and uh, so that makes it essentially a Kolschen style, I guess. Essentially, you know, top fermented like an ale, but cold storage. So, like a lager, to, to age it or whatever, and brew it. So, and it's interesting, I think what it is, is their, uh, their cans, all this stuff you see up in the top here, and uh, right around the very bottom, this little brown strip, that is all essentially printed right on the can. And then they have a sticker that they put around on this white part, clear sticker with information on top of it for whatever beer it is that they do. So very nice and economical. Um, first time I've ever seen that actually on a can. Usually it's just like a, a blank silver can with a label stuck on or it's you know it's got the the entire thing's a plastic wrap around label or whatever but uh, here they've got like a sticker right around the white part here so I assume for every different beer that they have they have a different sticker right uh, and it says this is a bronze medal winner at the 2015 Canadian Brewing Awards North Shore Lager Ales a Tatamagoose tribute to the traditional beer of Cologne Germany first top fermented like an ale then cold aged in a lengthy period like a lager and so this is supposed to Essentially, it gives you ale-like flavors, but it's supposed to be crisp and more uh, refreshing, like a like a lager. It's essentially what you're you're looking for here, and it does have some uh, food pairing symbols here: uh, chicken, salmon or fish, I assume, and salad. That's what it's saying. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, and uh, Tatamagoosh Brewing is a family-owned and operated microbrewery located in the heart of Tatamagoosh, Nova Scotia. In 2014, they converted an old butcher shop into a community brewery where they make small batches of tasty handcrafted beer. Good beer for good people. Can't wait for you to try it. Tatamagoosh Brewing Company. Main Street, Tatamagoosh, Nova Scotia, Canada. So there you go. And tatabrew.com, T-A-T-A -T -A brew dot com if you're interested in checking them out yeah so there you go I kinda like their uh, the little uh, logo they got there too uh, it's a two-headed bull don't know if you can see it. or maybe yeah see two-headed bull interesting so I was just looking at myself on my TV I've actually got my HDMI cable connected to my uh, laptop right now because I was uh, spending at least half the day watching people doing live streams of Fallout 4. It's like I'm basically giving myself torture just watching these people play this amazing fucking game and I've got to wait at least a month or more before I get an Xbox One and a Fallout 4. Fuck, fuck you guys. Fuck you guys. Okay. Because goddamn, does it look great? Looks like a great fucking game. Looks like everything, anything. It looks like everything everybody's ever wanted in a Fallout game. It's, it looks like they've managed to produce that for Fallout 4. And I see people online com complaining about the graphics. Some people are just, you can't fucking please them, man. Sure, the graphics are not that big of a step above what uh, Fallout 3 had. But fuck, and really, you're complaining? That game looks fucking amazing. Anyone who thinks that game doesn't look amazing has their head up their fucking ass, man. Seriously. Alright, so she's definitely unfiltered. Golden straw color. So, lagered ale. There you go. Uh, nice sticky white head there. Alright, we'll go right to Roma. Cheers. Mm. Almost
those weedy, grassy kind of uh, malt character coming up here. I don't know what they put in it. It doesn't doesn't list what they use. I'm actually just going to go in the... Just bear with me for a second here. I'm going to go to Tata Brew and see if they get any more information on their actual website. It's got kind of grainy, musty... Tatabrew.com it was. Mm-hmm. Let's just go here. Oh, it's one of these ones where you gotta figure everything out. Okay. Uh so let's see what else they have here while I'm looking at this shit. Uh, they also have a Hippy Dippy Pale Ale, a Butcher Block Red. Ooh, I want that. And they got a bunch of seasonal beers. They have a Lager Hosen, a Maple, maple Squash Ale. Really? Dreadnought, which is India Black Ale. Rural Root 2, Lager, Oyster, Cloyster, Oyster Stout. That's a mouthful. Horns Over Hooves, Double IPA, and whatever else we think up. So, yeah. And they got Keg Rentals. They got Growlers. Their Growler fills are fucking reasonable. Growler bottle is $5, and then refills are seven fifty to $8. So I assume you're buying a 1 liter Growler for... Uh... For about twelve dollars, that's not bad with the initial fill, and then all the refills are seven fifty to eight. That's pretty good these days. Uh, Twenty liter kegs, and they have a giant beer series: Two Rivers Baltic Porter, Giant's Barley Wine, and a Rum Barrel Aged Dreadnought. So eleven percent, eleven percent, and the Two Rivers Baltic Porter is eight percent. Wow, they're serious, man. They're doing some serious stuff here. Okay, so they don't go into the ingredients for their stuff. Okay, so that's a little disappointing. Otherwise, pretty nice looking website as well. But yeah, anyway, we'll get back to um, their cans. Their cans are a little on the expensive side, I will say. Uh, they come in four packs right now at the NSLC. Um, so you get a four pack of the 473 milliliter can and it was 1640 something. So a little bit more on the expensive side because you're paying for a craft brewery and new craft brewery and they got costs and stuff and you know, beer prices are pretty fucking nuts here in Nova Scotia anyway. So it's, a, it's to be expected, but, um, yeah, you know what? For 473 milli 473 milliliter cans, eh, I'm willing to throw out a little bit extra money just to try it for once, one time anyway. Why not? All right. So yeah, it's it's got a sort of grassy, slightly musty. Uh, the grassiness is kind of sweet. I'm almost thinking I'm picking up a little bit of hint of citrus in the background there somewhere. But, uh, you know, don't quote me on that. That might just be me. And we're going to go right to the taste now. Cheers. I'm going for 10 minutes here now. You're ridiculous. Um, I, I, I happen to know for a fact that there is at least one dumb cunt out there who is really upset right now that it, it didn't take me only two minutes to get this entire review done. So, <laughs> fuck you, you piece of shit. You don't like my videos, you don't fucking watch them, but don't fucking sit there and complain that they're too long and that I'm wasting people's time. People decide what they fucking want to watch, and if what they don't like in the first minute or, or so, if they don't like the fucking video, they can turn it the fuck off. No one's forcing them to watch it. Okay. I 
I haven't had a lot of Kolsch's in my life. Um, the one that would stand out to me to compare this to would probably be um, Bose Lug Tread from Ontario. This is definitely a little less flavorful than that one, I'd say. Um, you're definitely getting a lot more of the lager element of this. It's, it's a lot more uh, lighter on the flavor. Um, but the hops are actually bigger in this than something like a Bose Lug Tread. And actually most Kolsch's that I've ever had. This is probably one of the hoppier ones, just... On the fact that the hops are very earthy, uh, it's got a nice little hoppy earth bite to it, lingering dryness. It's very nice. Um, but up front, the malt and everything is not really there. Excuse me, it's not really there. I'm just getting some um, sort of grainy, grassy malt character but it's more lagerish than ale-ish so the sort of ale side to this doesn't really come out all that big uh not as big as i'd like it to but that's just a minor complaint this is still a pretty decent good beer um now the question is will i be buying it again at that price for a four pack probably not except for maybe with uh the intention of sending it out in beer mails i do have one put away that I'm going to be sending out um, for the Secret Santa, uh, the Albino Rhino Secret Santa beer trade thing that we're doing with some different beer tubers in Canada. Um, but yeah, it's not great, but it's pretty damn good. And uh, I'm actually pretty, I'm still pretty excited to see what else comes from Tatamagush because I have everything else on there. Like, this is their go to. Uh, beer for the masses that everyone can get into and on that it really works like uh, if you're new to craft beer and you try this I think you're gonna probably enjoy it it's easy to get into and if you go to Tatamagoosh you know if you're a tourist or something I don't know how many tourists go through Tatamagoosh but you know it might fucking happen so if you're a tourist and you go through Tatamagoosh and you stop at the brewery uh, this probably might be the one you might tr you might try first this might be the one you go for this is their sort of you know beer for the masses, easy access uh, kind of thing, and at that it works really well. This, this beer is essentially not made for, necessarily made for beer nerds like me, so you got to keep that in mind. Uh, as a Kolsch, you know, it style-wise, it's probably still about a 4 out of 5. Uh, there's nothing wrong with it at all. I, 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 it's just more personal preference here for me than anything else that I'd rather have um, maybe a bit more ale characteristics come out, but that's just me. And my overall score for this one, I'm going to go, I'm going to go 3, 2, 5 out of 5, I think. That's where I'll sit at it with this one. Um, and like I said, I really hope to see more of their stuff in the NSLC because some of their other stuff, like that Butcher Block Red and some of those big beers, if any of those show up in the NSLC, fuck yeah. I'll pay the $16 a four pack. Fuck yes, I'll try those. But uh, for this one, I probably won't buy again, but I still recommend uh, anyone interested go out and try it. You know, just bite the bullet and throw down the $16 for a four-pack and try it. Because, uh, you know, it's not terrible or anything. It's not bad beer. So there you go. All right, guys, thanks for going, holy fuck, 14 minutes for this. And uh, hope you enjoy. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.